Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, AUVSI Hybrid Exponential Convention starts today. Also, CTA and AUVSI speak out against Avigation Easements and Wing Copter unveils first triple drop delivery drone. Welcome to our News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Cape. Let's go ahead and begin this episode with our top story. Shock full of unmanned aviation goodness. AUVSI's annual conference and trade show AUVSI Exponential 2021 starts off as an expanded hybrid event series. After the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic necessitated a virtual staging for Exponential 2020 last October, the association decided on a full virtual program this spring, followed by an in-person event late in the summer. The series will support its mission to convene the unmanned and automated systems community to accelerate innovation and market adoption of the related technologies. AUVSI Exponential is widely regarded as the most significant global unmanned systems event and features a comprehensive educational program and technology and policy developments, as well as the leading marketplace for inner and intra-industry transactions. The series begins today through the 6th with an immersive virtual conference featuring live keynotes, and education, interactive roundtable discussions and networking sessions, and exhibits from leading technology companies and service providers. All sessions will be recorded and made available on demand for attendees for 90 days following the event. On August 16th till the 19th, the series will reconvene in person in Atlanta. More news after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Mimi Ong, Ingenuity Mars Helicopter Project Manager at NASA's JPL, is a happy camper. After software issues prevented the fourth flight attempt on Thursday, Friday's effort went considerably better. Ong notes that... Ingenuity successfully completed its fourth flight today, and we couldn't be happier. The helicopter took off at 1049, climbing to an altitude of 16 feet before flying south approximately 436 feet and then back for an 872-foot round trip. In total, we were in the air for 117 seconds. That's another set of records for the helicopter, even compared to that spectacular third flight. As many in the drone community know, things have been changing in terms of regs and procedures put forth by the FAA, and keeping up with required knowledge is a significant requirement. Drone pilots who already have Part 107 Remote Pilot Certification can now take their required recency of knowledge training courses online. The training ensures that they have updated knowledge necessary to operate in accordance with the operations over the people rule, which became effective on April 21st of this year. The training is also free. 
An unmanned helicopter crashed into the side of USS Charleston after taking off from the ship around 3.40 p.m. on April 26. Some 30 airframes are known to be in service, no one was injured, and the literal combat ship continued to safely operate after the incident involving the MQ-8B, Fire Scout Vertical Takeoff and Landing Tactical Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. The Fire Stout fell into the sea and was not recovered. The mishap damaged a safety net on the ship and struck the hull. Mission Go Unmanned Systems reports that the FAA Certification Office has approved Mission Go's MG Velos 100 airworthiness criteria as part of Mission Go's type certification application, a milestone marking the brand's next big step in pushing the boundaries of unmanned aircraft system capabilities. It will also be expected that the FAA will soon be issuing industry guidelines for certification testing. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The Consumer Technology Association and AUVSI have expressed concern regarding legislation introduced in several states, including Louisiana, Mississippi, Texas, and West Virginia, that are considering avigation easements, new restrictions on drone operations that would divide airspace in post-leasing and, in some cases, fee collection. CTA is concerned about the increasing number of state-level bills that would restrict drone operations and essentially create toll roads in the skies, said Douglas Johnson, Vice President of Technology Policy CTA. If enacted, this type of legislation will curtail industry growth and harm local drone businesses and all those who benefit from this versatile technology, from farmers to rural residents or homebound patients. We need a continuity of national rules and approaches from the FAA, not a patchwork of conflicting and unsafe state laws that divide the airspace and increase costs for consumers and drone operators, said Michael Robbins, Executive Vice President of Government and Public Affairs AUVSI. Drones provide solutions from delivering essential supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic to helping first responders during emergencies. In the U.S., 17% of households owned a drone in 2020, with 13.2% million households planning to buy a drone in 2021, according to CTA Research. Our last top story coming up after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Errol Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Prestels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. Wingcopter has introduced its new Wingcopter 198. The Wingcopter 198 is an EV tall fixed wing drone that has been designed to meet aviation safety and reliability requirements. The Wingcopter 198 takes off and lands vertically anywhere without the need for additional infrastructure and smoothly transitions into forward flight. It can carry payloads up to 13 pounds on one battery charge over 47 miles or up to 68 miles with less payload. The aircraft's top speed of 93 miles per hour enables on-demand express deliveries. 
A unique triple drop mechanism allows for separate and precise winch delivery of up to three packages to multiple destinations per flight. Alternatively, the Wingcopter 198 can deliver two medium-sized packages or one large package, providing maximum flexibility in size and shape. The entire delivery process is fully automatic. In addition, one operator can control a fleet of up to 10 Wingcopter 198 simultaneously anywhere in the world via control station software. The Wingcopter 198's redundant system architecture includes eight instead of four motors. All other essential components such as flight controller, airspeed sensor, and battery are also redundantly integrated. The main communication link to the operator is LTE 5G, backed up by satellite. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just follow us on social media and you can comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time.